Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we're going to introduce you to an exciting tool called DistroBox. DistroBox allows you to use any Linux distribution inside your terminal, providing both backward and forward compatibility with software and the freedom to use your preferred distribution. DistroBox is a powerful tool that leverages containerization technology like Podman or Docker to create containers using the Linux distribution of your choice. This means you can easily switch between different Linux distributions without the need for separate installations or dual booting. It's better since you don't have to run multiple Linux distros in VMware or VirtualBox, where your system will lag badly if you are on a low-end PC. You will be able to run all those distros from your terminal. It's perfect for developers, enthusiasts, and anyone who wants to explore different Linux flavors. If you are a hardcore Linux user, then this tool is for you. Let me first break down some of the features for you first, so you can have an idea of what to expect from this tool. First, it has seamless integration, meaning it tightly integrates with your host system, allowing you to share your home directory, external storage, and even USB devices. This means you can access and work with your files and data seamlessly across both your host system and the containerized Linux distribution. It has graphical app support. With DistroBox, you can run graphical applications within the container, thanks to its support for X11 and Wayland. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities, enabling you to use desktop applications from different Linux distributions, all from within your terminal. It has audio support as well, so you can enjoy multimedia and utilize audio-related applications within the container. Whether it's listening to music or using audio editing software, DistroBox ensures a complete Linux experience. Enough talking, I think. Now let's install this tool. For this demo, I am using Black Arch Linux. First thing, you need to install Docker or Podman. I will install Podman for this demo. You can use Docker as well if you want to. Go to the GitHub page of DistroBox and find the installation section. Copy this command to direct install it. Also, you can set up a custom directory as well if you want to. Once it's installed, you can type DistroBox to see the usage menu. Now let's create a Linux distro. First, let's create Fedora. The dash N stands for name, so you can name your OS whatever you want. The dash dash image will pull the image, and then type the name of your distro you want to pull. In our case, it's Fedora. And after colon, you can specify which version you want to install. If you specify latest, it will install the latest Fedora for you. You might be questioning yourself how large the download would be. Well, it's less than 100 megabytes, so it won't take a lot of time. For me, I have already installed Fedora. Now let's install Kali Linux next. Again, for me, Kali is also installed already. Let's see our created distros now. As you can see, I have two distros, Fedora and Kali. Now let's start both the distros. If you are starting the container for the first time, don't worry, just wait for maybe five minutes, as it'll install some important packages. Now let's install a tool on our Fedora.
Now let's start Kali as well. I have already installed, so let's run and let me show you. And here we go. I forgot to show you the OS release. Let's check that as well. It's Kali Linux and the version is 2023.1. Let's create our last Linux distro, Ubuntu. So we have Kali, Fedora, Ubuntu, and this right here is my main black arch. Don't you think it's a great tool? Okay, now let's see how we can stop those containers and remove as well. As you can see, the above two are green. That means Kali and Fedora are still running. Now let's see how to remove it. Let's remove Ubuntu. And that's it for our distro box. With its ability to run different Linux distributions within your terminal, seamless integration with your host system, support for graphical applications and audio functionality. DistroBox offers a unique and flexible Linux experience. I did not show any of the graphical tool in this demo. I kind of forgot, but you can try it yourself, or if that's a problem, let me know in the comments I will definitely make another tutorial. At the end, if you are someone who loves to explore different Linux flavors, DistroBox is definitely worth checking out. If you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.